Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020-2021 Panini Hoops Basketball. Five box, uh, random team break number 12. I think this is the final five boxes of that hoops case we opened up. You can see the, the, the slash marks we made right there with the Sharpie, so you know it's from the same case. So I think this is it for now, so thanks everyone for filling it up. Uh, everyone gets a random team. All inserts, rookie parallels, basically no vet common ship unless it's Luka, LeBron, Giannis, Zion, Ja, blah, 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 blah. Otherwise, no vet commons will ship. Obviously, all the vet parallels, vet inserts, vet numbered cards, of course, those will ship. So some pretty nice stuff here. Big thanks to everyone here for getting into the action. Appreciate it. And there's all the teams in right here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Five and a five. Hard ten. One. Two. Three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten, we've got Andrew down to Gretchen. All right, and five and a five, hard ten for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and tenth and final time. After ten, Cleveland, this is for you, is on top. Down to the Toronto Raptors. All right, so Andrew with Cleveland, Gretchen with Indiana, Concrete with OKC, Kelly with the Spurs, John with the Nets, Andrew with the Celtics, uh, Louis with Louis, Louis. With the Pelicans, John with the Sixers, Concrete with the Kings, Andrew with the Timberwolves, nice, Jason with the Bulls, Kelly with the Jazz and Mavericks, Matthew with the Suns, John with the Grizz, Gretchen with the Magic, Andrew with the Trailblazers, Wizards for Gretchen, James with the Hawks, Andrew with the Pistons, Clippers for Donald, Vincenzo with the Bucks, Ron with the Knicks, Gretchen with the Nuggets, Andrew with the Heat, Tristan with the Rockets, James with the Charlotte Hornets, nice, Vincenzo with my Lakers, Joshua with the Warriors, and Gretchen with the Toronto Raptors. Get all this on one screen. Let's sort by column B by team. Trades are allowed, ladies and gentlemen. Trades are allowed. So I'm going to pause the video, allow for some trading time, and when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break stick around. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. There were no deals done. It's all good. Five box, random team, number 12, 2020-2021 Panini Hoops Basketball on the 25th. Thanks, everyone, for getting in on a Thursday. There you go. Tristan, you're, good chance you won't get a single card. What are you talking about? Yeah, if you have the Rockets in this, I think you'll get at least a single card. I'd be shocked. I'm sure there's got to be like a James Harden insert in here or something like that. It's at least one card that'll ship. All right, two autographs per box on average is what it says on the box. Good luck, everybody. We got uh, the Pelicans in Milwaukee on TV right now. Pelicans just down by a point. Milwaukee 53, Pelicans 52 with 439 left in the first half. Can't let Steven Adams do that. He missed a free throw, missed a second free throw, got his own rebound, and just jammed back in for the bucket. So. 
All right, good luck. There's Emmanuel quick, quickly right there. He's playing some good basketball. This purple Kevin Knox, not numbered, but it will ship, obviously. All these rookie cards will ship. Sadiq Bey will ship. So there's a Lamelo insert. Sadiq Bey insert. Or a Sadiq Bey rookie card for Detroit. Here's the number one overall pick, Anthony Edwards. Andrew with the T-Wolves. And there's Quickly right here, who's been looking really good. And there he is, Emmanuel Quickly, autograph, hot signatures rookie. That is going to go to New York, Ron Hollins. Got randomized, the New York Knicks. You get the Emmanuel Quickly rookie card, and now this autograph. Very nice. Legends of the Ball, Anthony Hardaway. There's James Weissman right there, and another James Weissman. He's been playing some good ball. All right, so there's the base James Weissman for Joshua, and here is the purple parallel of James Weissman. Nice. Sorry, dropping that card there. Devin Booker. NBA Hoops, Anthony Edwards. There's Luka Doncic just kicking back. There's Nico Mannion. Oh. That could be that could be Thomas's brother right here. In the draft. Best player in the draft. <laughs> what if he ends up being the best player in the draft? We'll be like, what? He is. Is Dwight Howard to 199? And that's the Lakers edition. There's Halliburton. And a Spud Web autograph. Hot signatures auto for the ATL. Nice. James with the Hawks. Nice. We got the Dwight Howard to 199. We got Halliburton for the Kings. Concrete with the Kings. Nice. And there's a Lamelo Ball. That's for Charlotte. That's going to go to James. He might be. Might be early favorite for uh, Rookie of the Year. Obi Toppin for the Knicks. Darius Baisley. To 199 for OKC. That'll be for concrete. 007 out of 199. A little bit of a scratch on that number there. Isaac Okoro. High voltage LeBron James. I think those are somewhat short printed. And I've heard Hawks fans say they wish that that maybe I think Clint Capella is on the Hawks, right? That maybe. They should trade Clint Capella, give this guy some more minutes. Danny Avija, the Israeli. 
kind of had a slow start to the season, maybe bad a little, bad a little COVID here and there, but I think he's back. And of course, LeBron James. Lakers are not playing good basketball right now, but overall, this guy is pretty good. I think these high voltages are somewhat shorter printed. I think. Vincenzo with my Lakers. Lakers will be fine though. Once everyone's healthy, they'll be back on track. All right, box two. Yeah, Oliver's saying it's Lamelo's to win. He's on the box right here. It's it's his to win, unless he's hurt. Did anyone expect this from Lamelo? I didn't expect this kind of work from LaMelo Ball this soon, I guess. This early, like from the get-go, basically. But I think what's interesting with him, I don't know if there's any Jay Sean Tate rookie cards in here. But I think he benefited from playing overseas. I think he, he, he played, I think, in Australia for at least a season. Maybe in Europe for a little bit, too. Was that the other? Was that the other ball, brother? I, I know Lamella at least played a season in Australia, so he's playing like he's playing professional basketball. He's had a year of professional basketball under his belt already, albeit you know in the Australian league. But you know, Australian league's got to be just under, well, not quite NBA, but it's got to be at least G League or better, right? And in the Australian league, you're at least playing with like grown men. G League is still youngsters. So he's playing above his age level, you know, and I think that's got to be some great experience. And who knew how that would translate, how that would translate here in the states? But I think now, look, you know, hindsight twenty twenty, looking back, it looks looks like that that certainly helped. He's he's much better than I thought. Says Oliver, it's the best ball brother, says Dame. Yeah, probably. Lonzo's I. He can still Lonzo still has some great court vision. He can still run the floor. High basketball IQ. Dame saying all three were on the same high school team and he was the best as a freshman. I think my, I think my cousin has actually went to a couple of those high school games back in the day. Yeah, they were they were a they were a big deal. All right. Is that numbered? Yeah, it was. Legends of the game to nine ninety nine. It's John Collins. John Collins, I think, had a pretty big night. The other last week. And we got Tyrell Terry. Rookie Inc. for the Mavs. I actually, I actually have no idea how he's been doing. But that'll go to Kelly and Dallas. Wait, was Okongwu on that? Yeah, that's right, he was. Now that it, now that you mention it, I, th I think you're spot on. I think I think I think Okongwu was also on that Chino Hills team. And Chino Hills had a kind of had a good run of good run of basketball there. There's Kyle Kuzma. Kuz, 21 out of 99. He's been playing some better basketball this year. Very active. Getting those boards. Danny Avija. Getting pretty comfortable in his role. Danny Avijas will go to Gretchen and the Wizards. Saban Lee, I think, has been, has been playing some good basketball. I, I feel like... I think a lot of people weren't too thrilled about this draft class. 
But as we started to play some, uh, as we started to play some real basketball, we start to play some games. There's been a lot of players starting to, to merge. Which is good. That's good for the. It's good for the hobby. Hashtag good for the hobby. There's uh, Vernon Carey Jr. It's all that's hashtag good for the hobby. There's a second year Zion Williamson. There's Kenyon Martin Jr. Uh, the, I think the, the, the group has confirmed to me, yes, that Kenyon Martin. It's this kid. Here is a Patrick Williams for the Bulls, Jason. There's a Nico Mannion. Another Tyrese, a LeBron James. For my Lakers, Tyrese for Concrete and the Kings. Now, there'll probably be a small little pile of those guys and and I'm sure that uh, I'm sure there's some of those grayed out nicely. There's another Lamelo right here. It's Danny Green for my Lakers. All right, nice Lamelo ball for James and the Hornets. You think Jordan's got to be happy about this, right? I think, I think there's been some fair criticism for Michael Jordan about not really hitting in the draft. There's Stephon Marbury, Starbury going to Matthew and the Suns. So Michael Jordan's got to be happy that that LaMelo ball is working out quite nicely. Here's a quickly and your number one overall pick, Anthony Edwards for the T-Wolves. Andrew, Ron with the Knicks. All right, Oliver's pointing out, hey, other rookies, Xavier Tillman, Desmond Bain for the Grizz. You know, so there are some uh, there are some names starting to pop. Now, not, obviously not all of them, these, these guys. Not all these guys are going to be all-stars, right? But I think there'll be some surprises and players you didn't think will be all-stars. Perennial all-stars will be perennial all-stars. You know, some people that started off hot may not be may not be hot. Who knows? A lot of mentality comes into play when you're uh, when you're a youngster with millions of dollars. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, Thomas. Thank you, man. I'll see you. So I'm sure that like, how hard do you want to work? You know, sometimes it gets a little easy. You know, if the game if the game comes easy to you, and if you have a strong rookie season. I almost want my rookies to like not be good the first season. Gets them a little hungry, right? They get too comfortable. They're like, hey, basketball's easy. <laughs> you know? Then once there's tape on them, all of a sudden, oh, now, now defenses know how to scheme against me. So they got to they, they gotta put in the work. But as long as they do that, this, this could be a very interesting draft class. And I feel like there's no, at least, well, we'll have to see once the season keeps going, once more product, more of this current season product starts to come out. But I think um, it'll be interesting to see which teams become the more expensive teams. I think last year it was, which was a solid rookie class, but the, the, the Pelicans and the Grizzlies were far and away the most expensive teams in any break. I wonder if that's going to, I don't know if that's going to be the same. You know, in 2020, 2021 product, maybe Charlotte will be far and away the more expensive team. But I think the, all the a lot of the other teams are going to be pretty close to each other, which might which might be better. We might be able to do more random team breaks because of that. Yeah, what Williams being compared to a young Kawhi, Patrick Williams. 
Yeah, so there's a lot of interesting players. Peyton Pritchard playing well, says Oliver. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of promise out there. There you go. There's Sadiq Bay, and the other Pistons going to Andrew and the Pistons. Last spot Mojo, Anthony Edwards also for Andrew. Minnesota. There's quickly again, of course. And we got Robert Woodard the second. Oliver, you're a Kings fan. What's the story with this guy? Is Robert Woodard the second? Joshua likes uh, what Jessup is doing for the Warriors. There's Desmond Bain. We were just talking about him. Jason, what's going on? I'm new. How do we look back at previous case breaks? We upload all of the videos once I uh, finish with the recording. We upload all of the videos so that you can on YouTube on this YouTube channel so you can watch over and over again as many times as you want. Woodard might be a player, says Oliver. So there you go, Concrete with the Kings. Woodard could be a player. There's Pritchard for the Celtics, Andrew. And there's Patrick Williams once again for the Bulls. Oliver, what happened with your with your Kings tonight? I feel like they've been struggling a little bit lately. They they dropped. They were in New York, 140. Knicks beat the Kings in New York, 140 to 121. Just a little slump, maybe. Jason, you live in Hermos. Can I just pick up my cards? Yes, you can. Um, go to jazbeescasebreaks.com. Click the support button and let the let the team let our customer service team know that you are local and you'd like to pick up your cards from here on out. Generally speaking, after we do a break, we should have cards ready within within a few days or so. But you can I mean they'll they'll be able to give you more details on that. Another Lamello for Charlotte for James. And there's Al Harrington, Indiana. That goes to Gretchen and the Pacers. Yeah, no defense. Yeah, I'm looking at Yeah. You can't give 140 points to the Knicks. As 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 well as they've been playing. Thirty eight points in the first quarter, thirty nine points in the second quarter, thirty nine points in the fourth quarter. You can't give up forty points a quarter. It's no bueno. It's not good. Yeah, maybe Luke Walton going to get the uh, the sack, as they say in in England. Well, who's I, I actually don't know who would, who's on the coaching carousel. Who would uh, who could the Kings get if and when? Luke Walton, giving up the most 40-point quarters in the league? Yeah, that's no good. Yeah. 
Yeah, Luke Walton seems to be. I don't know Luke Walton, but but when he was a coach of the Lakers, I think he was well liked by his players and everything. But maybe just a little, a little inexperienced. I don't know. Maybe he needs to marinate as a coach a little bit more before. He, he's young. He can get another. He'll get another crack at it. I don't think he had that much time with as as a bench coach in in Golden State. I think it was before the Lakers gave him the job. Alvin Gentry's on that staff. I like Alvin Gentry. They they may as well just hire him. All right, second to last box. Good luck, everybody. This is five box Ram Team Twelve. Got about another 20 minutes or so to go in this break. 10 minutes. This generally takes about 10 minutes a box. A little under 10 minutes a box. Five box break, so about 45, 50 minute break. Yeah, this is the time to strike for the Kings, Oliver. I mean, they've got some young talent. You know, another one more, one or two more free agent cycles, another draft cycle or two, and the right coach. I mean that 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 could that could that could put the king suddenly in a great spot. <laughs> yeah, that's Oliver Sacramento Kings insider talk for the day. Brought to you by Oliver. I mean, looking at the standings, where are the Kings are 12 and 20. I thought the Timberwolves would be a lot better this season. They're at seven and twenty-six. That's another team, and I know they made they made that coaching change recently. But but I feel like the Timberwolves was were, were going to be a lot better than they are this season. You know, but maybe that's another team that needs you know a that needed the coaching change, which they did. And I think they might be another one or two free agent and draft cycle away from from getting to where they need to be. Yeah. Yeah, they lost nine in a row. Actually, no, the standings say their losing streak is six, but they are one and nine in their last ten. So they must have squeezed in a win in there somewhere. How Rockets have lost nine in a row. There's CJ Ellaby, Trailblazers. Yeah, I think the Ryan Saunders story was a very feel-good story because of his his dad, R.I.P. But but yeah, in reality, they had to make that move and get the most out of this team. I and mean, they got Anthony. I mean, listen to the, look at listen to their roster. And I know we got a lot of Minnesota listeners here too. I'm sure they're nodding their heads. I mean, Ricky Rubio's not bad. He's still effective. You still have Anthony Edwards. De oh, DeAndre Russell's been out. But you got Anthony Edwards. You know, Carl Anthony Towns is still in the mix. Jared Culver's a top 10 pick. You know, so like one more free agent cycle, another draft cycle. I mean, that might be. And some and some good coaching. Then that could that could make the. Timberwolves is a pretty dangerous team. No, all were thinking that they should have picked Lamelo. Edwards isn't bad. I mean, if it, sometimes you know there could be the idea of do they want. Maybe the best player or the right player for their team, but if yeah, maybe they should have gone Lamelo if they didn't really know what their team was going to be. So yeah, maybe they did miss the boat on Lamelo. 
There's another James Wiseman for uh, the Warriors. It'll be for Joshua. All those uh, Weissmans will add up. They'll be top loaded, of course, before they're sorted and shipped out. I'm just leaving them just in the interest of of time. Another Obi Toppin for Ron and the Knicks, along with all of your uh, quicklies. There's TJ Warren to 99. I keep wanting to say, why do I keep wanting to say Quigley on, 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 on Quickly? Allie Quigley, right? Basketball player? Quickly, 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 quickly. I think Devin Vassell has been and shown some some talent down in San Antonio. IQ, yeah, good nickname. And there's Jamal Murray to 199. I think he dropped 50 the other night. There's another Halliburton. And Alex Caruso, that's my guy right there. Go Lakers. Alex Crusoe getting that, uh, getting that, uh, that manscaped money. You see some of those commercials around town right here? Lakers. I don't know if those are national commercials, but Vincenzo with my Lakers gets the Alex Caruso. Lakers struggling a little bit right now, but they'll be fine. They'll be all right. There's another LaMelo. So we got a lot of things going on here. Here's LaMelo. Charlotte. James with the Hornets. There's Tyrese Halliburton. There's Jamal Murray for Denver. Maybe for Gretchen. And the Zion for New Orleans. Second year Zion's for Lewis. Zion's got 24 points on. He's 11 for 15 from the field. Efficient. All right, final box. Final two autographs. Final set of rookie cards and inserts. Thanks for getting in, ladies and gentlemen. Like we got about a dozen orders coming in here, so we'll go through some orders after this, and we'll uh, see what we can get into. All right, so what are we looking at? How are we looking on standings here? Nets seem to be unstoppable. They've won eight in a row. They're eight and two in their last ten. Sixers on top of the East, then Brooklyn, then Milwaukee. They're playing right now. Pacers, Raptors, Knicks. Knicks are sixth, six seed. Uh, that'd be hashtag good for the hobby if the Knicks got into the playoffs. People can see R.J. Barrett, Obi Toppin quickly in the uh, in the playoffs. Kind of see that young team in the playoffs. New York would go nuts. When's the last time the Knicks have been in the playoffs? Fif 15, 15 years? More than fifteen years? Bulls, Hornets round out the. It'd be good for the hobby if Lamelo Ball ends up ends up in the playoffs. And then on the outside looking in, Celtics who have been struggling a little bit. They've lost a few in a row. Miami Heat have won four in a row. So they're getting back into swinging things. Hawks. I thought the Hawks would be better. I have to admit, but they're not too far off from a playoff spot. Just a, just a game and a half. Orlando, Washington, Cleveland, and Detroit round out the East. PJ Lopez saying, who will? They will? Who will? Knicks will be in the playoffs? 
In the West, the Jazz have been playing some incredible basketball. Nine and one in their last ten. They've won. I think they're like nineteen and twenty-one. Nineteen wins in the last like twenty-one games. Something like that. Twenty-six and six on the season. Followed by the Clippers, my Lakers, Suns, Trailblazers, Spurs, Nuggets, Warriors, and we got the Grizzlies. Uh, Mavs and maybe Pelicans on the outside looking in. Thunder possibly as well. Then the Kings, Houston Rockets, and the T-Wolves. All right. Yeah, when, hey, when's the last time New York's been in the playoffs? There's Kenyon Martin Jr. Yes, that Kenyon Martin. Rookie Inc. for the Rockets. Tristan with the Rockets, who was suggesting that he was not going to get anything, but I think he spoke way too soon. Gets a little bit of ink going your way, plus whatever cards are going as well. Double J, what's going on? Tonight's been excellent. Non-stop breaks. Great hits in every single break that we've done. A lot of great conversation in the chat. Another excellent night here at Jaspies. James with the Hornets. Danny Avija. PJ Lopez saying the last time the Knicks were in the playoffs, Latrell Sprewell might have been in the uh, might have might have might have been on that squad. Why do call guys call last Bob Mojo the last five? Do they get something extra? Yeah, they do get something extra. They get a little uh, little boost in Mojo. It's called last spot Mojo Hollywood. Last Spot Mojo has been known to deliver the hits. 60% of the time, Last Spot Mojo hits 100% of the time. Correct, Joshua. It was like Michael Jordan. I was like, and I took that personally. And I took that personally. Don't give up so soon on the breaks. Play to the whistle. Didn't Guys, well... I'm sure most of you played sports, right? Play, play to the whistle. Always play to the whistle. There's Malcolm Brogdon for the Pacers, Hoops Inc. That goes to Gretchen and Indiana. Is there a phone call on that TNT broadcast? You guys hear that? I feel like I've heard some things about Zignaji. I mean, there's there's a lot of interesting names. I mean, you know, who knows? I mean, this guy may end up being nothing, but but at least there's some talk. At least he's on a roster. He's not G League, you know, playing a little bit here and there. That's what you want to see. It's James Weissman, another James Weissman for Josh and the Warriors. Yeah, Zeke Naji made a start the other night, so there you go. See, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of names. You know, Precious has been playing well for the Heat. Colin Sexton to 99. Colin Sexton, dust off your Colin Sexton rookie cards from a couple years ago. Yeah, kind of sounded like a rotary phone too, right? PJ Lopez on that TNT broadcast. Maybe uh, maybe Chris Weber was like they've got a they've got like a bat phone there. quickly again yeah Okoro gets minutes too I mean there's a lot a lot of interesting players obviously all of these rookie cards will ship you know I know I'm not catching every single one that we're talking about but 
but when you get it, when you get these cards, it's always worth looking up those rookies and seeing what their secondary market value is. If there really is none, see if they're playing. You know, see if they're getting some quality minutes. See how they're doing in those minutes. It's fun to follow these rookies because all it takes is, you know, a little, I mean, not that I wish injury upon anybody, but all it takes is a little injury to, to create an opportunity for some young players that'll turn into, you know, and then it takes like just one or two hot weeks for that player to suddenly get comfortable and then boom, there you go. Now, now like the card that we just passed by or just a random rookie that we thought was a random player suddenly becomes, you know, a desirable player in the hobby. So there's the break, ladies and gentlemen, your quick little recap. A lot of great stuff, a lot of great rookies, a lot of great ink. Thanks everyone for watching and getting into it. That was five box random team 12 of 2020, 2021 Panini Hoops Basketball. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com and I'll hoop with you some more next time. Bye-bye.